we're gonna revisit it again and you can roll this thing forward. And this is what I love here and, and, and Boiler mentioned the changing of the angle on the shot, but I like the taking of the ice also to complement that. And we're gonna get a pause right here. Get a pause. All right, so you see the lane that uh, the Tyson's in. He's in this this lane here. Um, of course, he's not going to just stay at this angle, right? But watch his ability here to come in, and he's going to realize I've got some ice in here between Jacob Middleton and myself. Like I'm going to take as much as that as he's willing to give me, and go slowly forward here if you don't mind. He's going to come in, keep creeping, keep creeping, and then stop it right here. So right now he's he's changed it, and I know it doesn't look like much, but you're you're talking if you were to put percentages on it, if he fires that puck maybe from this region here or this area of the ice, his his scoring chances are going to plummet. He just even moving it over to where he's at right there improves that a lot. But then watch the the drag and pull here. He's going to grab it, pull it to the inside, change that angle on Mark Andre Fleury. That's the only way he can get that far side is a right hand shot coming down the right side. He's got to change it. This angle might be even better. He's gonna come in here, and I'll tell you when, but we're gonna, this, this will give us a great one. We're gonna pause it here. All right, so right here, you can't quite see the net, but his angle right here, that's a tough angle to try to score on Flower. But watch where he ends up firing this puck. You're gonna roll it forward a little bit. Now stop it here. Marc-Andre Fleury has not moved his feet at all. His feet have stayed in the same spots. Remember that first angle when he had it like this? You don't see much eye, or sorry, much net on that side. But if you had the puck's eyes right now and you saw the net from there, he's got a lot more vision on the net right there. That puck seeing more net, and he just rifles this one off the far post and in. So just a way to kind of create some offense, and, or sorry, create a better scoring chance when maybe you don't have it. I mean, surely you're going to shoot that puck from there regardless, but I, I like it. I like the way he just comes in there, young kid, and, and, and giving himself a better quality chance to score. But... Heck of a shot, too. That, that was a crazy shot. I mean, that's, a, that's he's standing still when he catches that pass. That's what impresses me, too. He takes wide ice so he doesn't get closed off. The play can actually develop. And then he sees quickly where he can go. And like you said, I mean, that's that's probably two and a half feet. He changes the angle in an instant. That's what that's what goal scorers yeah. do. And that's how hard it is. And still, he, he snuck it by him barely. Yeah. That's a hell of a shot, and it's it's a, it's a perfect shot. When yeah. you guys talk about changing the angle of the shot, there's one guy that comes to mind instantly, Austin Matthews. Is he the best, best in the game I think he at is. doing that? Hey, I, I think he is. And you, know what, you know what I'd love to do with this, too, if, if you guys really want to be creative tonight? It, maybe if it's now or later, I'll just go in front of the net here, and we can get a shot from one of the cameras. Yep. And just show, because if the camera is on the track, mm -hmm. and I'm and, and I'm going to do my best weeksy, I'm going to stand there. We can do the, it right the now camera, if you want. You want to try it? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. right. All right. Let me try to do it. So let, let's go put it. Can you guys get on camera one? Yeah. If you can put camera one on, and this is going to be Mind a little that? bit. This could be a little bit difficult. If yeah. you can go you camera stick, grab or camera two, whatever it is, and head out. Let's there. go camera two right there. And can you go lower on camera two? All right. So. So say say you're sitting here like this, right? And I'm a goaltender, and I'm I, I'm 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 a terrible goaltender, by the way. But I'm standing here like this, and I'm in the net, okay? And pretend I had some pads on, because you'd have you wouldn't be able to see so much of the net, right? Now watch this. If I stay here now, if this camera can move camera left a little bit, and I'm still here, watch how much more net you're going to see when this thing moves. Look at this. Like look at this. Now all of a sudden, look how much more net you're seeing on both sides of me. Just about to stop there. That camera probably moved two feet. Mm -hmm. But now all of a sudden, look, can you go back to where you were? Oh, I want my pads. I wish we had pads. I wish I You've could throw these pads. pads on, dude. Come on out. You can, Boiler, you be the shooter on this one. Uh, so, I got to be a righty if I'm yeah. coming down this side. Yeah, so, so uh, Boiler sticks right here in front of the camera. So, all right, so camera's going to sit here. Now right here, when you're sitting here and you're looking, all right, you, you're not seeing much on. Moving up. So you're not seeing much here where the camera's showing, right? And I, you have up high here. Obviously, if I had pads, it'd be bigger on the bottom. Now, move if you can move that camera again, you can go either way, quite frankly, but probably more camera left. And now, all of a sudden, this starts opened up, and I won't move. And you're going to see more and more net. Can you go with the left? If we go left a little bit here, and now look at this. Now look on my stick side how much more your net you're seeing. You know what I'm saying? Like so just again, we just kind of a makeshift demo here on this, but that the puck angle, the eyes of the puck will see so much net. If you saw Flower didn't move his feet. Right. It, that happened so fast. We're watching it like super slow-mo, right? Be right. like yeah. you do that move fast like Austin Matthews. The, the, the goaltender doesn't have time to shuffle over. Like that puck is set. seeing something different. He's set and as soon as he's set and he knows he's shooting, he comes out and he gets set and he gets as big as he can. That's why he's trusting his D to cover the backside on a pass. But when a guy changes an angle this far, like you just showed, that opens up just enough space. 
And if he makes a save, it's coming to the weak side anyways. But it's, I mean, the, the kid does the right thing. He makes the, yeah. he makes the play, turns it in, pulls it into his feet, and shoots it far side where he knows that's where it's going to be. Yeah, and, I, I mean, it's and, a perfect shot. And we're standing here in suits with no pads on, so you see and no socks you, and, and, and no socks. <laughs> Your little you socks. can see day one, you, baby. You can see you can see net on all sides of me. Just picture. Yeah. Picture Mark Andre Fleury, yeah. big chest protector, you know, big pads. Yeah. You're not seeing any net. You might see a little bit of net short side as a righty right there. So he might see a little bit. I can pick this corner here, but if I change that angle, mm -hmm. now all of a sudden, like we saw on the camera, he's got some options over here now, and that's where he fires it and scores. And that's how kids are learning how to shoot these days. You think of Connor Bedard, who's going to be the first overall pick. Oh, Remember that, that video that yeah. came out a couple of months ago, and he's just everything. Pull, shoot, pull, shoot. It's like I think Austin's, I think Austin's the best one. Right. I mean, probably, so many are good at it. Through traffic, too, and he, he can put it places. And they're good at – they're also good at, like you said, we're changing the angle, but like – and I'm sure you guys have talked about this, but I'm seeing you. The puck's seeing something different, right? So I know where I'm going to shoot over there. I can't really see something far side, but I know it's there. And these guys can put it there, and they understand that obviously the puck is at a different yeah. angle than what they're seeing, but they understand it from the, the puck side. What are you, six, 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 seven? Yeah. So, in Austin Matthews is what, six, four, or yeah. whatever, six, three, whatever his size is. You can and really the change point, the, angle. the point being is you've got longer reach, you've got a longer stick. So, what your eyes are seeing, what, what, what a guy, what, what a bigger player's eyes are seeing, his, the puck is seeing something completely different because that puck might be four feet out to the side right. you know what I'm saying right. so it's it's a game inside the game and the great goal scorers know how to do it listen I learned it from watching those guys I certainly couldn't do it I didn't score enough to do it but it's just fun watching them be you know it's just taking care of their craft and just changing puck angles it's crazy all right some guys have been here five years never done a demo you've been here five minutes yeah there we Congrats. go listen. you are fully indoctrined into the NHL family right now I was now. gonna shoot it I just should have shot. oh fine shoot it, it man rip it that's a fake <laughs> puck we're good those ones we are hard to lift ones actually destroyed this place before <laughs>